welcome to Herbs and Greens. Today, we're just gonna do a short video and we're gonna talk about hair care and natural energy. You know, we all get tired during the day, um, especially after lunchtime. So we're gonna talk about how to combat that and possibly lose weight. So let's start with hair care. Did you know that pumpkin seed oil, yes, pumpkin seed oil, this is toasted pumpkin seed oil, you don't want to get toasted pumpkin seed oil. You want to get regular, natural um, pumpkin seed oil. Did you know that pumpkin seed oil promotes hair growth? It also strengthens your hair, makes your hair so shiny, and it also, if you have your hair colored, it also brings out the vibrancy of the color to make that color look alive for a little bit longer. And if you are a natural amber, um, you will also use this oil. And when your hair grows out, it's just saturated with beautiful color as the new ro roots grow out. So um, pumpkin seed oil is probably one of my favorite ways to condition my hair. And I have it on right now. And you really can't tell. Um, pumpkin seed has magnesium. Magnesium strengthens your hair. Um, and, you know, a few years ago, um, in 2019, um, my family, my entire family came down with COVID. And um, being that my husband and I were the oldest in the house, we got it pretty bad. And it kind of got scary for a little bit. Um, but praise God, we pulled through it. And um, I have what they call long COVID. Um, I rapidly gained weight. I went from 120 pounds to 160 pounds in less than two months with no eating habit changes or anything like that. And then I started losing my hair. I was massively losing my hair. I mean, it was, I was in tears because it was just, just coming out and coming out. And um, I went to the doctor and, you know, there was like nothing they could do. Um, he gave me vitamin B shots to help with that and vitamin D shots. Um, but he just said that it was long COVID and it could last for six months up to a year. Well, it's been over um, a few years now and I'm still losing my hair. But since I took the um, avenue of doing natural hair care, I am losing less and less of it. And it is growing. Excuse the squeaky toys in the back. That's my cute little Dotson dog wanting to play with his squeaky toys. Okay, and also, did you know that pumpkin oil has um, zinc in it? It is fortified with zinc. Um, and zinc takes care of your scalp. And zinc also promotes hair growth. So these two combinations, along with the, the omega-3 fatty um, oils that are provided in the moisturizing part of the um, pumpkin seed oil, are extremely healthy for your hair. And, and those are just a few things that the pumpkin seed oil will do for your hair. It has so many wonderful benefits for your hair but i think for us women mainly us women the strength in our hair the shine of our hair the frizziness of our hair and the growth of our hair are very important to us and pumpkin seed oil is another one that will calm the frizzy part of your hair because it just hydrates it so well now along with um, pumpkin seed oil Pumpkin seeds are just one of the most healthiest superfoods for your body, period. If you can ingest them um, and get them on the inside as well as putting it on the outside, um, even taking a, a tablespoon of pumpkin oil seed so that way you're getting it on the inside and, and making the inside um, healthy because um, pumpkin seed is also a brain food. It helps with memory. It helps with so much, um, you know, kind of clears up um, fog. Um, and it's just a really great, healthy superfood for you. So if you don't have pumpkin seeds in your diet, the best thing to do is to get there. Um, you may not like them, but they're really worth um, they're really worth trying because pumpkin seed is so super healthy for you. Okay, so how do you apply the pumpkin seed oil? Well, this is what I do. Excuse me if my camera is shaking, my dogs are running around. Um, so 
what I do is I take my hair in sections and I put some in my hair and then I just kind of just um, massage it in because you want it on your scalp. You will eventually pull it down, um, the residual, you will uh, pull it down, but you want to get it into your scalp because you want to fortify your scalp. You want your skin to be healthy. You want your scalp to be healthy because that's where all the hair follicles are going to grow through. So you really want to get in there and just moisturize. I mean, just rub it in and break it up in sections. And then um, after I get it all, you know, my scalp pretty, I don't saturate it, but I get, make sure that I have every part of my scalp covered. Then I'll start pulling it down and I'll put a little bit on my hand and then I'll just rub it down. Now I twist my hair so that way it doesn't get anywhere. You do not, you do not, absolutely do not want to cover it. You do not want to put a hair cap on. You do not want to put a tail on. You want to let it, the air get to it and um, do not cover it. Now, how long do you leave it on? You should leave it on between 12 and 24 hours. I put it on this morning, and tonight when I take a shower, I will wash my hair. Now, you, you can use your normal shampoo, but if you're going for real hair care and you're wanting to do it naturally, um, wash your hair with baking soda. Just get that baking soda in there and just wash your hair. And then when you rinse that out, then your conditioner is vinegar. It can be white vinegar. It can be um, apple cider vinegar. Just, it has to be a vinegar. And you want to talk about beautiful, shiny, incredible, full hair. Man, it is beautiful. I have been washing my hair with um, baking soda probably since 2011. And it is one of the best things um, for my hair. Even if you just do the um, baking soda and vinegar once a week, which is probably recommendable. And you know, we women don't wash our hair every day anyway, or at least we shouldn't. Um, if we can prevent it, if it's not like sweaty or anything, don't wash your hair every day. Um, I would probably use the um, um, baking soda and vinegar at least once a week. And then the other week I would use um, I mean, the other, you know, next day or two or three days after that, then I would um, do the um, shampoo. And then sometimes I would just do both um, um, baking soda, not, yeah, baking soda and um, vinegar. And that's natural hair care. And it really doesn't cost you any much. It's really not that expensive. Your pumpkin seed oil might be a little ex expensive, but you can order it from like a one of these co-ops that deliver like Azure Standard or Pleasant Hill Grain or Country Life, or you can even find it on Amazon. Um, that's probably the easiest place to um, find it, but you want to make sure that you're using an organic pumpkin seed oil and 100% pure pumpkin seed oil. You don't want it mixed with anything else. You want to make sure that it is 100% pumpkin seed oil. And watch the difference as you use it. Now, I, I will moisturize my hair with it once a week. And then tonight when I shower, like I said, I'll use the baking soda and vinegar. And um, you will get, you will start to see, you know, beautiful hair, stronger hair. Um, more manageable hair. So I do challenge you to um, try the pumpkin seed oil. Okay, so now let's talk about chai seeds. You're like, what, chai seeds? Yes, chai seed is another superfood. It is so super healthy for you, especially if you're struggling with high cholesterol. Let me see, I've got some notes here because I don't wanna miss anything because the chai seeds are really, really good for you. They're an excellent source of fiber. And you know, especially as you're aging, your body needs fiber. And, and fiber can induce heart health because it really helps take care of the inside. It helps keep your gut clean. It reduces cholesterol, which, you know, the older you get most of the time, the higher your cholesterol is, um, is, is bad. Or, you know, eating unhealthily will create high cholesterol. So you don't always have to take medicine. Now, granted, you might have to, and if you have to take medicine, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with taking medicine. I am not against medications because I will take them if I need them. But if I can find a way to do it first naturally 
and it helps naturally, then I, that saves me from taking um, the, the medication. You know, I made a deal with my doctor. My cholesterol was really high. And, you know, I told him, I said, you know, I'm, I, I want to do this naturally. And so he gave me six months. My next doctor's appointment visit is in six months. And we made a deal that if my cholesterol doesn't come down by me doing it naturally, by doing the things that I think will bring it down, then I've made a deal with him that I will honestly honor. And that is to go back on um, the cholesterol medicine. So, you know, just be honest with your doctor. And, and you know, I, I've been with my doctor for a very, very long time, at least eight years now. And, um, he kind of knows I'm not going to be one to take medication. And so he does work with me and he allows me to, um, work with the, the natural. And then, you know, if it's not working, then I, I will follow his recommendations, but he at least gives me the opportunity to take care of it naturally. And so far it's been pretty good. So I might make a believer out of him yet. <laughs> so anyways, um, so going back to chai seeds, these little bitty wonderful things right here. Look at these gorgeous little beautiful things right there. This right here can change the inside of your health in so many ways and you do it so simply. Um, about probably 12, 13 years ago, I started doing the chai seeds and how I started doing my chai seeds is I would get Greek yogurt. This was before I was making my yogurt. Um, <clears throat> but I would get Greek yogurt from the store that, you know, healthy, organic Greek yogurt. And then I would put about two or tea, two or tea, two or three teaspoons, um, of chai seeds into the yogurt. And then I would put, um, you know, a fourth cup of honey and then I would mix that all up and then I would stick that in the refrigerator overnight and then the next day I would eat it for the rest of the week um, I would eat it as a breakfast um, pudding it's almost like eating tapioca pudding um, and it tastes wonderful and I felt wonderful um, so that's one way you can do it. How I do it now um, because I don't usually eat um, much yogurt anymore um, how I do it now is um, I will put two or three teaspoons in a glass of water. Now, this is how the energy comes in. Um, I will put it in a glass of water and I will let it sit for about five minutes. And then I will add two or three teaspoons of honey. And then I will squeeze half a lemon. And, um, and I put it in my big Stanley cup. So, you know, I can drink on it most of the day. And... Um, you, you ingest the, the chai seeds. There is, there's gonna be a little bit of crunch. I mean, the texture's not really that bad, but when you suck it up, you really can't tell that you're sucking it up, but you'll get like these little crunchy things in your mouth that are really kind of soothing to, to drink. My, my granddaughter loves it because she says it just makes her feel calming, you know, the teenagers these days. But um, so the honey is, honey is so, another superfood for you. Honey is an antimicrobial, it has natural antibiotics. Outside of ginger, I believe that honey, that you can find in the US, that honey is the second number one natural antibiotic, stronger than some antibiotics prescribed from prescribed by the doctors. So not all of them, but it is stronger than some of the antibiotics prescribed by doctors. So when you put the honey in, into your, um, water with your chai seeds, what, you, you're drinking all these antibiotics that will fight off the little things that you have going on on the inside. And secondly, honey is a natural energizer. Now, you can drink your chai, chai seed water all day long, but after lunch, I had to quit adding the honey because it was keeping me up at night because it's just a natural energizer. So, you know, I would do my first um, cup, my, my first um, honey, First thing in the morning, I would make it and I would kind of let that get me through lunch. And then after lunch, it was just chai seed and um, water but and lemon. And you don't have to have lemon. My, my granddaughter just drinks the chai seed water, which is um, just like drinking water. There's no taste to it. It doesn't change the taste factor. Um, 
but I love lemon. I mean, give me lemon all day long and I'm a happy camper. So I put lemon in my water and um, it's just so healthy for you. You want to consume probably five tablespoons a day, which I can, I'll put two or three in the morning and then if I put three in the morning, I'll put two in the afternoon um, water. Um, but honey, even if you don't want to take the the chai water because you're just, you know, you don't like the texture, which it's not really a bad texture. I, it's really not. It sounds like it, but it's really not. Um, you can hardly tell that you're, you're drinking them. Um, but you do want to ingest the seed. You don't want to ingest the seed raw. Oh, please do not eat raw chai seeds. You It will mess you up. Chai seeds um, are absorbent. So if you eat the, the chai seeds raw, it's going to absorb all your water, all your liquids that you ingest that are in your body and it's going to dehydrate you and it's not gonna make you feel very well. So please do not eat raw chai seeds. No, 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 no. Um, but if you don't want to, and sometimes I, I'm, not, I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to make the chai water, so I'll just take a, um, a teaspoon of honey or a tablespoon of honey and that'll get me through the day. And then again, I won't, I cannot do it past lunch um, because it will keep me up at night. So just be, you know, cautious of that. You know, if you need a little boost after lunchtime, then, you know, do a teaspoon of honey. But if you're drinking it in the morning and you're making that water last through your lunch break, you should be good to go. And that will help you through your, um, you know, when you're working and you're, oh man, it's time to go home and you're just tired. You know, it might help you through that. Um, but ingesting honey regularly is also very good for you. Now, I do recommend that you buy honey local to your area because local, it has all the allergens, it has all the flowers, and it will help fight allergies. And I am a testimony of that. We buy local honey and I rarely have allergy problems. And before I started, before I found out about honey, 12 or 13 years ago, I was riddled all the time with um, allergy symptoms in the doctor at least once or twice a week because my allergies were so bad. Not anymore, not anymore. And so I'm a testimony that, and, and, and I've been doing this for several years now. I know that honey is um, very healthy for you and will fight those allergies, but it does have to be local. So make sure that you find a local um, beekeeper that will that sells their honey, and you can find them at most farmers markets in your area. I mean, fa farmers markets are all over the U.S. and they are growing because people are getting tired of the buying food from the groceries. From one, it's way too expensive, and for two, it's way too unhealthy. They are putting so much. Um, preservatives and unhealthy stuff in our foods that that's really what's making most people so sick these days so you farmers markets are everywhere just type in farmers market in your area and it'll tell you where to go and you will find your local honey there and so i really encourage you to support your farmers market um, because they provide you with homegrown natural things that are so much better for you than the things that you can buy in the store. I hope so. you found this information very helpful and I would love to hear your comments if you try the the pumpkin seed oil. If you will leave a comment down there and just let me know how it's working for you or give us some tips or hint how it did or didn't work for you. You know um, leave a comment about the chai seeds if you found it to be you know, a natural energizer. And another thing that I forgot to mention is that chai seeds, they absorb and they're full of fiber. And remember when you eat anything high in fiber, that it goes inside your gut and it cleans you out and it also makes you full. So it gives you the sensation that you're full. And so you tend to eat less. So it gives you a sensation of being full longer. And that might help, you know, create, you know, cut out the snacks. And so you have potential to lose weight too. So please leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love for this information to be out there. Um, so if you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and join me next time.
Thank you.